Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jason, and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so we have Ford finally going back up. Uh, you know, they just had their ex-dividend date. Uh, the stock went down a little bit, of course, like it would for the 15 cents. The dividend was given out, but now we're on a trend back up, it looks like. Um, their earnings report came out, and they were not as bad as a lot of people expected. Um, they were less than their, you know, than they expected originally uh, at the end of quarter two, but quarter three didn't really end that bad. When we look at like what they've overcome with the tariffs and everything, um, you know, a lot of unexpected things that they didn't really think it was going to hurt their company so bad. No one expected the tariffs with China to last this long. Um, so yeah, now now Ford's trending back up. I hope a lot of people are are pretty happy about that. I, I definitely am. Uh, I think Ford is definitely still worth the price. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep stocking up. The price is still cheap. It's still you know I still think the Ford's worth over ten dollars a share. So it's definitely worth still picking it up, and also for that dividend, which is gonna uh, one of the stocks I've been talking about, AT and T. They are uh, they are down quite a bit right now. Uh, they just keep dropping. I'm definitely picking up a lot more of that in its downswing. I think that AT&T is much more valued than they are uh, with them having Warner Brothers and everything and everything that they have in the works at the moment with their, their streaming system that they have. Uh, so I'm definitely picking up more of that, uh, that, uh, that AT&T right now. Um, Tesla, uh, Tesla, very happy that that was to go back up. Uh, the day that, uh, uh, that the earnings actually came out and the stock spiked, I had a uh, a buy that uh, the next day. So I got into it a little bit higher than I wanted to, but um, you know it's still definitely a great buy, uh, great value at this moment in my opinion. Uh, with them especially having uh, profits now, with them being a profitable company, that is great because I think it's just going to continue from there. Um, you know now they're the the fifth largest uh, uh, for for cars or the the. Uh, fifth largest seller and the number one best selling uh, luxury vehicle in the United States. So with Tesla being profitable and all the things that they have in the works, uh, that stock is going to, I think it's going to start soaring here. Um, that's my opinion, definitely don't uh, do not take that to credit. Um, uh, my other stocks uh, that uh, are moving a lot, my, uh, my MJ, my ETF, uh, my cannabis ETF, that is definitely dropping a lot. And uh, speaking of cannabis stocks, uh, right now uh, Aurora is now more available in the United States to buy. They, but uh, I'm definitely waiting a little bit. There's still a lot of volatility there. It's still, it's still gone down like 30% recently. Um, I'm kind of just waiting for it to bottom out a little bit and get that one on the upswing. But I have it through the uh, MJ ETF, which is definitely very low right now in comparison where it was not that long ago. As far as my other stocks in my portfolio, they have all the usual volatility. Um, they're actually, they're a lot more volatile right now than they usually are, but uh, they're pretty normal. You know, I'm still, over the year, I'm still up a lot on Apple and such like that. So anyways, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos recently, but I will get back into it and talking more about Ford and Tesla and such. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.